Hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. If the camera is shaking for you, well that's because it is. Because we've got a chariot with uh, malicious intent hot on our trail. Uh, in between the last episode and this, I've come to some realizations. First off, uh, I've come to realize that discretion is the better part of valor in many cases. So I'm going to do my best to try to just uh, run past as much as I can. Not worry about doing uh, fighting too much if I can help it. Because I can't help but think that uh, there may be some good things for us to find down in these lower levels, but also that we may be a little bit uh, underleveled to deal with what's going on here. And by underleveled, I mean we have not leveled <laughs> so far. In fact, we haven't even made out, out of the, the first area. Uh, quite honest, so. Alright, we've got some stuff here. Ooh, I don't like this. Let's get in here. You know, that's one way to farm souls. Uh, okay. So here's the plan. We're gonna just try to smash and grab and uh, just liberate whatever kind of good loot there may be here. If there's a boss, we probably will not fight it because I'm getting the distinct impression that we are not meant to be here until perhaps a bit later. That's one of those things about um, some Dark Souls that uh, is good to know. Time for fire, huh? Well, we may not have a choice. There, This may be the boss. Now, there's this Merica statue here, right? Isn't that what they were saying? So that if we die, will we come back here? This may be a boss. I'm I'm willing to give it a go just to see uh, if we are woefully outmatched. I suspect we will be. But I feel like we've gotten most of the benefit out of this area. Oh my gosh. And there we have it. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Well, we did come away with something. I'm not exactly sure what that something is. You know what, let's do it one more time just for the fun of it. Um, I'm just curious what kind of damage it looks like we might be doing. Also, oh, nice to see that our, our runes actually spawn outside the door. That's very different than most uh, Dark Souls that I'm experienced uh, with. Wow, sure likes to wiggle a lot. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we're meant to be here quite yet. I don't think we're meant to be here quite yet. But that's okay. Um, so what we will do is, if I understand this correctly, we should be able to grab our runes. Oh, perhaps not. Maybe that was a one-time deal, because our, our runes are... Uh, Inside here now, maybe? Okay, well, I wonder, are, is it possible for us to come back to the site of, uh, to this Merica statue in the future? Uh, I am not sure. But, one thing I do know, one thing of which I am relatively certain, is that it's time to, uh, to, to move on out. Because we haven't even met the individual who will be helping us to, well, to level up, right? <laughs> um, and that seems pretty important, in my opinion. Oh, I don't think, I think this was the wrong area as well. What are we, where are we going to? Stranded Graveyard. Maybe that's where we're uh, going to be going. Yeah, what a, what a massive map this is. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna take a little bit of time getting used to moving around the world, but I look forward to the opportunity. That's that's for sure. Yeah, stranded graveyard. I should know by now because I've died enough times here. So, <laughs> um, after that little um, well, side quest, I guess you could call it. So it's, it's just to whet our appetite for things to come in the future, right? Just a. Uh, just a little appetizer is how we're going to be treating it. We're finally going to step out into the wider world, I assume. Huh. 
<laughs> wow. Where to even begin? Um, is it okay for us just to take a few moments to sit here and look upon this vista with awe? I think that would be a perfectly normal reaction, right? My goodness. Just the, the absolute sheer scope of what we have ahead of us is mind-boggling. Summoning pools. In each area, you, might find, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Again, not likely to take advantage of that overly much since it's not really my vibe. Um, but good to know that they're here. So here's the thing. There's a lot of exploration we could be doing. I say we just press on until we find whatever our Firelink Shrine equivalent is going to be. Um, you know, and, and kind of gain the ability to level up. Uh, that way we can be a little bit more efficient with how we're tackling it. And of course, the more we sort of move through the map, the better idea we'll have of where we need to, to double back and explore and maybe farm a little bit. Anyway, the Guidance of Grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. So, I guess it's kind of indicating to us where we need to go next as like a, almost like a, a mini objective uh, marker, I guess, which is kind of cool. That's a first. Use your map to check your current position as well as terrain and surrounding features. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at Stella's along the road. You can also use the map freely to place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. As I recall, Stella's are kind of like um, little stone monuments, I believe, like in, in ancient Greece, so I suppose there'll be something similar as like a signpost along the way which is great um it's gonna take a lot of getting used to uh using a map for dark souls which is very much a first okay oh, yes tarnished are we come to the lands between for the elden ring hmm? of course you have no shame in it unfortunately for you however you are maidenless Wow, way without to just guidance, point that out. <laughs> the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. And that's the end of the story. Good night, everybody. Just kidding. I, I assume you have a solution for me. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope. For even the maidenless, me, Vare. Oh, are you my maiden? <laughs> Take care to listen. Are you familiar with Grace, the golden light that gives life to you, tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of Grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Hmm. Way to be somewhat ominous and uh, ambiguous there at the end. Grace's Vare. guidance will reveal the castle okay. the home oh. of the decrepit Hang on. demigod. Godric the Grafted. Godric the Grafted, okay. Any intel on him? You set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Man, he doesn't miss an opportunity to just get in, in a, a little jab at us, huh? Well, had we done probably the intended... Um, the intended path. Maybe we would be able to level up here. Or no, actually, we can't even level up. Never mind. I was going to say we, we lost all of those um, souls or, or runes or what have you. 
down in the dungeon, but I guess we wouldn't even be able to use them even if we had some, so never mind. Makes me think we should probably not even tackle that that big guy quite yet. Maybe we want to go full stealth mode here. And I mean, we are playing the, the rogue, I guess, as kind of a, an archetype for our character, so kind of makes sense. What is this? Is that a, like a skull? Oh, it is a skull. Huh. That's not ominous at all. Should have taken it for my uh, production of Hamlet that I'm putting on. Rune Fragment. Okay, there's a few things that we've picked up, even in our short time we should probably take a look at. Poison Bone Dart. Got it. Yep, throwing knives, but for poison. Tracking that, the Ruin Fragment, material used for crafting items. Stone Fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. Can be used for crafting or simply throwing at enemies. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> These st uh, shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. Huh, so the, the tree and then... Above that, the I guess are these shards of the Elden Ring or or a temple with within which the Elden Ring was held? I wonder. What's what's up in the sky? Lightning grease. Um, yep, basically it's like pine resin. Just add it to your weapons. Golden rune, grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between. The lingering trace of gold used to gain sixteen hundred runes. Oh, very nice. Even now, runes are still imbued with the power of life itself. Do you see the Erd Tree towering o'er? I sure do. Uh, what else did we pick up? Grave Glove Wart. White flower that blooms in catacombs. Each a soundless bell used to summon spirits. Strengthens ashes to plus one. The art of strengthening ashes is known as spirit tuning. Only a spirit tuner may perform this deed. So we've got to be on the lookout for these little fragments. I wonder, are they specifically in places that have like stone uh, ruins themselves? Is that where they're, where they're hidden? Right, I can jump now. I keep forgetting I could jump. <laughs> and then uh, I guess those golden runes there, those are kind of the um, uh, souls equivalent, like soul of a crestfallen soldier and so on and so forth. Man, this is so nice. Can I just build a little cottage here and escape following my destiny? I wouldn't mind it. What do we have here? Just random skulls lying about in very menacing, uh, very menacing ways. The Church of Ella. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella. Strengthening arm armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments stronger. Well, I should hope so. So a smithing stone. So if I were to use this, with the smithing menu, you may spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. You can strengthen your armaments up to plus three at a smithing table. And then find a blacksmith for stuff beyond that. Got it. Uh, yeah, I mean, getting our weapons up to a higher level would be super nice. Uh, but we're a little poor at the moment. And by poor, I mean we're flat broke. But that's fine. Uh, not for long, I suspect. And then what's this? This, uh, like a, like a Santa Claus wannabe, I guess. <laughs> You're a tarnish. Very festive. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Hmm. Well, let's chat first. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Huh. So I guess tarnished must be, I don't know, what's the word? Activated every so often? So he sees enough of us to come through to have an opinion on tarnished. You know, 
If you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Argue with that. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. Um, yep, you could buy, sell, each merchant is different, track in that. Throwing dagger, telescope. Uh, reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Cracked pot. The empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Essential vessel for crafting cracked pot items. The materials and magic sealed within deploy their effect effects when the pot is thrown. Huh. The crafting kit is what he recommended. Uh, nomadic Warrior's Cookbook expands crafting repertoire. Oh, specifically arrows. Glowstones, uh, invigorating meat. Holy water pot. Okay. Uh, then various arrows and bolts for our ranged brethren. And then Flask of Wondrous Physic. A note sold by a nomadic merchant. Ooh, I love notes. Actually, I unironically un do. <laughs> Notes and books and stuff like that sold by merchants, just generally in RPGs, I'm a big sucker for, so I will be buying those. Obtains information about waypoint ruins. Oh, you know what? I bet you if you buy it, it marks it on your map for you. Goodbye for now. Absolutely. Brother, you just stay right where you are. I will be back, I promise. I know I've got the golden rune on me that I could use, but I, I want to save that for my first level up just to grab another, like, I don't know how how much a level up is going to cost, but hopefully it'll get me at least like a level, two levels, something like that. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Yeah, tracking that. Uh, great. So it wants us to go off to the left here. You know, the, the Tranquil Vista uh, is, is sort of uh, juxtaposed with this very morbid site. Not amazing. Alright, some our first uh, batch of proper enemies to take on. So, uh, I say we try, to, we try to do a little stealthing on them with that is possible. We'll have to get an idea of what their aggro, uh, you know, range might be. Not sure how valuable these flowers are, but I'm just gonna keep picking them up as I see them. And, oh, there's multiple of them. Let's see, can I get a backstab on? Oh, you know it. Love it. All right, now that guy. Oh, he heard something. Now, how protective are these bushes? Oh, fairly protective, actually. What? All right, that didn't. That wasn't quite as elegant. Oh, we got a straight sword. All right. One of the first things we've actually picked up, uh, weapon-wise or gear-wise. Are we headed the right direction? I guess I should. I could check the map here. Something there. Probably need to get a little bit closer to, for the crit to count. Yeah, there we go. Pukri, okay. Those are nice. I'm familiar with those. Man, there's so much... To see, I hardly know like where to start, but stands to reason I should probably just generally be going up this hill, right? Turn up this hill. They're not bad. Ooh, there's a little side cave here. Dare we go into that spooky old cave? Dare we? I think we've got to just pop in and see what it's about. Oh, and there's a side of grace. Then we'll then we'll definitely pop in. A 
And I don't think we need to rest here. Uh, what do we got? Oh, wolves. Not into the lion's den, but into the, to the wolves' den. Well, this is a good opportunity for us to get a little bit of combat practice in. It's been a little hit or miss so far. All right, we've attracted some attention. Oh yeah, these guys are not hitting nearly as hard as <laughs> the first uh, fringe folk cave experience. This is a little bit more of our speed. Come on. Cover it just a touch of stamina. A little hard to see, no? I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thin beast bones. Now, does the thin modify the beast or the bones? Or both? I mean, these wolves, I guess they're not like... Uh, oh, even the, the scum on the ground. I guess the, the wolves are not like uh, starving. Not small either. Or they're not, they're not massive, so I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'm picking up all this green stuff, huh? Oh, these are... We've got, we got a live one down there. I feel a little bad. I mean, they're wolves. I guess they're a menace to society, right? But they're so dog adjacent, you can't help but feel a little sad. Although, uh, you know, FromSoft dogs have a reputation of being absolute pains. What am I picking up here? Silver Firefly, huh? Hidden path ahead? Really? Is there actually? I guess I guess not, huh? So, sometimes you have to attack a wall to reveal a hidden passage. Sometimes you have to press, like, interact. I'm pretty sure I did both here, right? Didn't I? Yeah, okay. I mean, I know obviously there's going to be some troll messages from time to time, but I just wanted to make sure. I don't mind looking the fool, just in case there's some good stuff. Uh, to be seen. You know? Uh, now, do I have a torch in my inventory? I don't think that I do. That might be a good investment here. Oh, we got a little bit of a boss. Boss encounter already? Huh. Not what I was expecting. Uh, but we're... Sure, why not? We'll go for it. The Beast Man, Farum Azula. Oh, okay. Let's just understand the move set here. Ooh. Wow, that is a combo and a half. Man, I've been noticing, like, a lot of these enemies have this nice little, like, uh, jump back mechanic. Oh, that iframe didn't work out like I was hoping. Okay. Stay frosty. Come on, beast man. Now, is he buffing his stats every time he roars? It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Oh no! Alright, we should probably heal here. Uh oh. I'm up against the wall. Do I have a second to heal? I think I do. Yep. Love it. Get a couple in there. There we go. Not too shabby. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The proper... Uh, first proper boss uh, encounter. 
I'll take it. Why is it always weak foe? Look. Look. Weak to some, but uh, but for us, just starting out, I couldn't be prouder. Return to entrance. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they put little fast travel uh, options in here for you. Is that going to be a regular uh, function of of uh, of these dungeons to, to fast travel you up back to the front when you're done? That's a neat little quality of life um, feature that is like somewhat unexpected. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one, you might even say. Okay, well, I think we've seen all that there is to see here. Turn to entrance. Does it drop us right on top of the uh, the side of grace? If so, um, yeah. Okay, not bad. Sure, we'll do a quick rest. Um, so from here, what way? What? Where do we need to be heading? Uh, yeah, up this path here to this. Now that looks like a Stella, right? That that was that was being referred to earlier. So that's probably where we need to make our move. Um, don't feel well. We could use the souls, or the runes, rather. Why not? Plus, it's fun. <laughs> it's just plain fun, you know. Playing the assassin. Okay, this guy's got some company. Or no, he's got. There's a wild boar there. Never mind. <laughs> Unless it's a trained wild boar. I mean, it could be. A hefty beast bone. And a smithing stone. Erdly flower. Alright. Lots of crafting stuff that I'll need to look at a bit uh, more intently. Ooh. I see shiny stuff over here. It's interesting you can even sprint just a tiny bit when you're as you're uh, stealthing. All right, what am I doing wrong here? I guess I need to align myself more precisely behind the back to get the crit uh, to to trigger. Fragment. Fine. There we go. Another rune fragment. Alright, all kinds of good stuff here. Now I'm hearing like... What am I hearing? Oh! Huh, I wonder if these are like the uh, crystal lizard uh, equivalents. Oh, what a whip. Oh no, get back here! So crystal lizards in... Uh in Dark Souls, they drop like, um, like Twinkling Titanite, but in this case... Teardrop Scarabs. They are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrop Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Oh. I mean... Good, I guess. Um, I would almost rather have the crafting material. But I suppose maybe these guys will be kind of sprinkled in more intense areas. So, you know, to the point where I'll probably be happy to encounter them? I don't know. Also, did I get uh, souls, or did I get... Man, it's gonna take a lot to break a habit. Uh, did I get runes for killing them? Uh, I would assume that I would get something, right? Alright, there's a camp here we, we probably want to inspect, but there's, the, there's a side of grace. Let's also check out these um markers here. It was kind of referred to earlier that they might present us some kind of benefit. Oh. Not that, at least. Is that it up there? Oh, that looks like a sword in the ground. That's ominous. Uh, let's check the map. The gate front ruins. Oh, it's probably somewhere in there. But they're guarding. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and get into our... Uh, Get in tune with this side of grace. As we... I get, I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to have to make our way into the castle to actually level up. Maybe there'll be friends in there? I don't know. 
But we're holding on to 1800 right now, so... Uh, let's maybe take a look at our inventory right here and... Um... Oh, hang on. Maybe not. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. That was the person who resurrected us earlier, right? Down in the tomb? I offer you an accord. I accept. I don't know what your proposal is, but I accept. Have you heard <laughs> of the finger maidens? That's how desperate I am. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Why does everybody feel the need to keep pointing that out? I can play <laughs> the role of maiden. Oh, okay. I accept. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Well, how could I say no? Settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it to traverse huh. great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Oh, Torrent. horseback. Torrent Neat. Has chosen. Right. Treat him with respect. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, let's get our level ups in. Turn your runes it, to assuming we have enough. Let uh, my hand rest upon I don't know, is 1800 enough? For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. Thoughts, ambitions, the principles I would follow. Copy that, Melina. Um, level up menu. With each attribute, your level rises by one, as does the cost. It's pretty standard stuff. Okay, well, for sure, we're, we're going to take a little bit of health. And, um... What else do we want to grab? Maybe we'll just go two in health straight away, just to give us a little bit more of a buffer. I'm going to have to figure out exactly how the scaling works. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where the soft caps, hard caps, all that kind of stuff are, but I feel pretty confident about getting, at the very least, like, um, Vigor, Endurance, and maybe Dexterity to 20. And then from there, we can maybe we'll know a little bit more about the, the stats or have a better idea and can kind of game plan from there. Um, 829 runes needed. Okay. You know what am I going to do, I think? Well, first off, I'm going to check out this horse uh, situation now. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If it dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost you uh, Crimson Estus, uh, so to speak. You can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing X. From Pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. E, up, down, left, right. So it's kind of like another quick access um, item uh, option. It's a kind of a neat idea. So what do we have here? Memory of Grace. What is that? Oh, that's like the, the dark sign. Okay. Now we'll get rid of that. So here, we probably want to throw in the, the whistle, right? Uh, what else? Is there anything else that we want to map to be readily available to us? 
Not really. Um, okay, so we've got about 2,200 runes available to us. What I would like to do is go to go back to the merchant. I could fast travel, but wh why don't we try riding? Oh, ho, ho. look at that. We're going to be traveling in style now. I'll never walk again. Double jump, yep. And then I can attack on it, I assume. So left click does on the right side. Right click does on the left side. And then what does my skill uh, do? It does like a like a big hit to the left. Can I do a big hit on the right as well? Or okay, well we'll we'll figure it out. So let's go back to the merchant and spend some of those runes to uh, ooh, maybe take on some of these fellas here. Ooh. Whoa. I guess we got to keep moving. That's part of the, the trick, right? Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. There we are. Not bad. Vanishing, uh, vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flask to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more, etc., etc. Okay. Ooh, okay. Wonder, can I do like a charge attack somehow? Oh no, he killed my horse. <laughs> okay. Well, we're doing this the hard way, I guess. I'm okay with that. Uh, I should have taken that opening. I can use the practice. I don't mind. So, if I want to resummon the uh, torrent... Yeah, okay. So it takes one of my Estus flasks, but worth it, I would say. It's for a good cause. Man, I can get going pretty damn fast on this. On this method of travel. I love it. I wish there was more of a charge attack. Uh, you know what I mean? Like... Ooh, nice. Just kind of like to knock him down from sheer... Like, sheer momentum and weight. I think that would be kind of neat. Now, can I pick up stuff? Oh, I can. From horseback. Nice. That is great news. And then can I drink an Estus? I, yeah. Okay, cool. We're figuring things out here. Um, now, if I unsummon him, that's what, X? Okay. And then I can resummon and it doesn't take an Estus? Um, oh, dismiss with X and then resummon. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. I'm figuring it out. All right, so... Ooh, there looks like there was a dialogue option with Melina. Um, we'll check that out in a second. First off, um... Wait. Weren't you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Wasn't I dead? Is that what, what you were about to say? Uh, oh, did you have more to say, do you? There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people. Wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now. Though the Elden Ring is shattered, I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the Tarnished, and mine. Hmm. It's an interesting way to think about it. And I'm a big supporter of the local economy, so uh, it's mutually beneficial. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Got it. So Just don't accidentally 
hit the merchants. <laughs> Unforgiving. Yeah. Message received. So, um, I would like to purchase the crafting kit was his recommendation, so we'll do that right away. And then what else do we want? Um, oh man, I would love to get some of these other things. I'll take some of the, uh, let's see. Wondrous, flask of wondrous physic. What does that mean? Contains information about a flask of wondrous physic. I don't know what that is. But ruins, that I know, so I'm going to take that for sure. And so how much more do I need? Um, the arrows probably don't need now. Glowstone seems like a prism stone maybe, which I don't use those a ton, so maybe not super essential. Cracked pot. Maybe just grab one of those just to see what we can craft. So that would be, what, 300? Um, maybe, maybe another 500 total. So, I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an egg. Uh, yeah. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from the materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more by finding more cookbooks. So there we go. That's available to us now. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. So what can I make? Fire pot. Throw at enemies to inflict fire damage. Roped fire pot. Uh, throw behind. Bone dart. Uh, on horseback. Feed to torrent to restore HP. Oh, we should probably grab a few of those, right? Um, and then maybe map that to... I mean, is there any reason... These seem so common. Is there any reason not to make a bunch of these? Maybe we should map this to uh, a, a, like a pouch slot to feed it to Torrent. I kind of want to read more on it as well. Uh, humans are unable to digest Roa fruit, but Torrent seems to have a taste for it. And then Rainbow Stone. No, this is our. These are our Prism Stones. And then also to um, to see how far uh, we might fall to our death or otherwise. But we have a horse now, so. Maybe that will be less likely. So, uh, let's see. Another 500, I think, is what I said. So, we'll go ahead and use one of these. I wonder if I can sell runes to him at cost and then just skip having to manually um, break them. Let's test that theory. So, in my inventory, the small golden rune here. Golden rune 1 is 200. What is it? So if I, if I go to sell... Oh yeah, I could just sell to him for a normal amount. Cool, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, so, let's grab a cracked pot. And let's grab whatever this wondrous physic note is. Goodbye. Now I am broke. Now, where can I read up on what I just bought? So there's the cracked pot. Uh, where are my notes kept? Oh, here we go. Flask of Wondrous Physic. A flask of wondrous physic still remains in the third church of America, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Now, can I map that somehow on my... Um, can I, can I put that directly on my map? Ooh, and then what's all this? Oh, these are all tutorial things. Okay. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. And then this is... Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through Limgrave. So, okay. Does anything show up on my map now that I've read those items? Uh, there's the merchant. Eight front ruins. Huh. So nothing shows up explicitly, I don't think. Interesting. Now, what is this on here? Are these where previous, um... It almost seems like where I dropped my souls last, right? Or dropped my runes last? 
that wouldn't make sense because that would be underground, right? Let's just go over there and take a look. I'm just curious what that means. If they're underground, which I suspect they are, um, then there's not much that can be done about that. That sound is ominous. Be this is our position right here, right? So it would be a little bit to our left. Down there. Ooh, I don't know if we want to be going down there right now. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh. What is going on here? Can I lock onto him? Yeah, I can. Okay. Like that. And I'll take whatever this is. Who's making that noise? I thought I killed... Are the people on the on the crosses making the noise? Is that what's going on? And if so, can I put them out of their misery? <laughs> Please? Yeah, I think that's them, alright. The little morbid. Alright, well... That happy note. Oh, I see some eagles up here. I wonder if they drop anything good. I should probably get comfortable with farming stuff from, uh, from animals, right? Got one of them. Flight pinion. All right, more good crafting stuff. So, uh, where were we? Urba. Okay. There's a lot of fall damage. What is this? Why is that skull glowing? Oh, there's just a random rune underneath it. That's, that's kind of nice. Okay, so I gotta be on the lookout for just random runes scattered about uh, on the ground. Alright, so what's the strategy from here? I'd kind of like to clear out this camp a bit, uh, if I may. I've got to get used to this whole horseback riding uh, control situation. Because for me, the mouse button, it attacks on the opposite side of uh, where I want to. Like, the, the, the left mouse button, I believe... It attacks on the right. And vice versa. Oh no. What? That little drop there? You're kidding me, bro. Well, I guess that's on me for not keeping my head on a swivel, but still, that seems this way harsh. Vanished. May I have a word? Oh. Uh sure. Pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou, thou surmises correct. The power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Uh, yeah, we'll be straight up with her. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's former master. Oh, she's got four, uh, four arms. Interesting. I didn't. I did not notice that. Now another thing I'm seeing is that one of her eyes is closed in a way similar to um, uh, Melina. Is that now? What is the significance of having one eye open and the other shut? Also, the moon is very visibly present, and she seems moon-like, moon-adjacent. 
Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. Summon them Related. dead. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine. To do with as thou wishest. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time, and then not during multiplayer, of course. Okay. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Oh. So she is not a big fan of the two fingers, apparently, which is... What? They said that there are maidens that follow the two fingers. What the significance is of that, I'm not sure. Is that, like, the like a nickname of, like, a king, or...? Now, here's where we can test our theory of what this symbol means. I assume that this is going to point us to where our runes are. Oh yeah, here we are. At least they're easy to retrieve, you know? That's that's not bad. Oh boy. This is... You know, I almost feel like it might be easier to kill some of these enemies not on horseback. Or maybe I just need to get good. That's also very possible. So I think this will actually be a good point to pause. I think what we're going to do next time is try to clear out this camp, maybe check out what that wagon is uh, is holding, some, some object of value, I suppose, and then maybe make our way into the castle proper. I don't know, should we spend more time here in the countryside uh, just exploring a bit? Well, we'll, we'll for sure uh, check out the castle and then hopefully pick up some more armaments so we have an ability to experiment a little bit more and go from there. So not a bad episode. Knocked out our first uh, mini boss, got ourselves a maiden and a steed. Pretty good for a day's work. And, uh, and uh, the moon shines its blessing upon us as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.